Now, if I go to Brookshire's and I take any of my kids, this is another thing that parents experience. They go on a scouting trip and they go look for sugar. They go look for candy. They know where the candy aisle is in all these places. They go to the, to the sugar section of the cereal aisle and they bring all these things back to the basket and make their petitions that they be put in the basket. I've never had a child bring me broccoli <laughs> and say, can we put this in the, in the basket? That just does not seem to happen. Because often they are acting like we act before God. If it looks good, if it tastes good, if it feels good, then isn't this a good thing? And what we understand from the Bible is that that goodness is not determined by experience, but by its source. Every good thing is from God. And you might argue this morning that broccoli couldn't have come from God. Uh, broccoli is what they serve in, in hell at the main course or something like that. Chocolate. Chocolate's from God. But the truth is that broccoli is good for you. As the Holy Spirit was part of our prayer life, which he is, he's saying, God, give them broccoli. Give them broccoli. Give them what's good for them. And part of what we're dealing with, and, and this is what we saw in, in my growing up years. You know, I never went to a McDonald's with a playground, but after I got too old to enjoy it, all of a sudden these playgrounds began, and you ask a kid and the, and the, from that point on, where do you want to go to eat tonight? Well, they, it's all about the playground. Let's go eat at McDonald's because they want to play on the playground. And a lot of that has crept into our spiritual lives and in our church world today. And it's all about the playground. And we forget about the broccoli. We forget about what is most needful for us. And the Holy Spirit is yearning for the church to experience that, yearning for that in our spiritual lives, and we're missing it because we're bringing all this sugar stuff to the basket. God desires to connect us to his will. And he's done everything imaginable to make that a reality in our life.